Good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Now, they're on and it didn't fall over. <laughs> yeah, it went well actually. Uh, well, uh, that's not 100% true either. Uh, it it took a lot of finicking around. Uh, looking back at it now, I could have got I could have done it a little bit differently the way I was holding onto the chain. But uh, the, the rollback is a ra rather uh, it goes on and on and on, and then eventually I get it. You know, it's one that one of those sort of things. A lot of poking, <laughs> just to warn you. But you know what? To see how it is, we got to this place. I think we should just roll back and then we'll continue on and talk about why I need to paint. Okay, my voice is kind of going this evening, but we'll see what happens. The uh, Iowa is in the exact same position it was the last time you saw it. And I thought that possibly I was going to have to have it at a bit of an angle so that the anchor chain would drop in a little bit better, but I think we might be able to uh, might be able to do it here like this. Um, whoops. Okay. Now I want to be careful not to be squeezing too tight here. Now you can see when it goes over the wildcat. Maybe that's what I should do. Just put over the wildcat to start with. Okay, like that. And then just sort of work it in. Careful now not to break anything else up. I'll move in just a little bit here. <clears throat> Excuse me, maybe uh, I should be putting the macro lens on. Uh, that might be a good idea. Okay, now if I could just get this end to drop in that hole, then we might be able to wiggle it down. Let me put the macro lens on first so you can see better. Sorry about my voice. Okay, let's try not to bump anything. I'm noticing I've got, got dust going on here. Or is that maybe some sort of glue? Okay. Awkward angle here. I to try and get the the end in the hole. I could just get it started. Maybe I should be using a pin or the end of a cocktail stick or something. These tweezers could end up scratching everything. Pull it just a little bit. Okay. Let me check the monitor. You can see it better than me. Well, that's that's just about right. Let's see if I can just work it down. Just oh, it's almost got it. That looks believable. That looks believable. Uh, it'd be nice if I could, we could get it so that the end of it was right down in, in, inside there. Okay, how's that look? There's something a little bit sharper. I need something a little bit more pointy. Um, 
I've got to get my angle just a little bit different. You can see it good, and I'm coming in from from this side here, and I can't I can't see it. I've got to get around the other side. Maybe if I uh, turn the ship. Now I realize it's a little bit dark in here. I'm using one of Gabe's swab thingies here. I'm just trying to try and get it so it looks like it's going straight down in there. Then what, what I'd like to do, if I can, is put some CA thin on it and just let it run down the chain. And it, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't go on the outside. At least I, I don't think it will. And then we'll worry about the rest of this afterwards. Um, maybe the maybe the CA thin quick setting. Uh, let's try to get just a little bit further down. Okay, there. I, I think that's pretty good. Okay, I'm not going to apply it yet. I'm just sort of doing a dry run. This is the nozzle from the CA Instacure. And uh, it could be, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of a squeeze on this first. Here it comes. There. It's in. Whatever's going to happen is the way it's going to be. I've got a little drop of Insta set here. Maybe that's too much. Okay, it's a little bit less. I got a feeling that's cured already anyway. Okay, now I do not want any twists in the chain. Let me put my finger there so it doesn't fall off. Because for it to look proper on the on the cogs of this thing, the, this trumpeter has tried to depict little cogs. All right. Now, I think having it like this is going to be uh, a lot easier to try and get it down in here into the hose pipe. Could be that uh, we might do better to have it maybe not quite leaning quite so uh, straight up and down. Yeah, it could be that maybe if the whole ship was at a bit of a 45 degree angle, that might work better. I'm just going to reposition everything here. Okay, I have the ship leaning slightly back now. And, uh... Let's see here. Maybe the... This is not the thing to use. squeeze too hard now. It started to go. I'm wondering if maybe there's only so much room in that you might call it chain locker. We almost got it. A 
Okay, we've got it. Um, yeah, it it uh, it looks good. Now I don't think I'm going to glue it in place right now. I think uh, we we've got it in there. It'll probably stay in there. I'm going to do this other side exactly the same way. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to the LEDs tonight. This is uh, this, <laughs> I thought this was going to be fast and easy, but. Uh, Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do the other one the same way. Now, one of the viewers made the suggestion. I think the, the comment went something like there was a lot of brass showing on this ship. And uh, I've, got, I've got this uh, little jar of, uh, well, it's sort, of, it's sort of brass. I just shook it up, by the way. Um, and and paint the uh, tops or or the wheels. Yeah, I, that that makes sense. So I think I'm going to do that. Also, I have to do the gun barrels here. I, another viewer mentioned that I'd missed that. Thank you. And I noticed last night when I was looking at this, I've got a, some places where it's kind of scratched. I got a scratch there. I think there's a scratch on the top of these things, although you have to look. <laughs> I honestly can't see it right now, but I know it's there. Um, so I'm going to use the, the 66 and just touch that up just a little bit. Um, but anyway, let's let's just uh, put on our macro lens and uh, see if we can't get this uh, brass paint on there. Um, yeah, I hope it's going to be okay. It's either that or yellow, but I think yellow is just too bright. Okay, while I am waiting for a couple of, I guess you call them swatches, to dry, I might as well just try and touch up our barrels here. If I come in like this, I can get my way up to right up to the breach. Now, how's it look on your side? Let's just check the monitor. Ah, be nice if I get a little closer to the breach, but maybe I'm about as close as I can dare. Okay, now this one over here. Okay, over here, this is a scratch, I believe. It's, it kind of catches your eye. I think I'm just going to best do the entire top here. And then when it dries, it'll probably be okay. Won't be the same as it was, you know, from the spray, but at least we're not going to have a something catching your eye. Now, just sampling a little bit more here. Okay, now right here, it, I thought there, there was a scratch, but then, then I realized it's, it's somehow I got CA glue on there. And, uh, whoops, got a bubble going on. Get rid of that. Um, yeah, I think that, uh, I think that once that dries, it'll all just sort of blend together. At least we won't have a, a glint. And it, it was actually quite bright. I, <laughs> I actually caught, it caught my eye and I didn't have my glasses on there. Okay, but do you notice here, and I'm going to be careful not to touch it, notice the nice detail of the anchor chain? That was really nice that that viewer sent that. And uh, I have to apologize, I, I can't remember the name. Now this brass that I was talking about earlier 
when I looked at the propellers, I didn't particularly like the looks of it, and I was thinking I wish it was a little bit lighter, but not as light as the yellow. And then I remembered we had we had gold. So I've got the brass is on the left, and the gold is on the right. Just trying to think which, which looks more like a shiny brass wheel. Now that that gold did not go on nice and nice and smooth. It's not too bad right there. Well, maybe maybe I'll just go with the brass. Now let's try not to plug up all the detail. I don't think this has the uh, the shrinking the shrinking ability that the what what happened there I can't there it is got rid of it because I had maybe too much on the brush I don't think this has the uh, shrinking ability that the XF paints do that looks a little bit sparse. Okay. Could be that maybe I should be shaking this now. The pigment in this bottle really settles quickly. Let's go around the outside here. Okay, check the monitor. Maybe a little bit over here. Okay, we'll leave well enough alone. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, as near as I can tell, we now have everything done right back to this uh, turret base which is right here and if we move a little further back we got to do the observation platforms on the side now if you remember one was painted a little bit better than the other and this side here is the side that's going to be against the uh, back of the case so in other words we want to put the good one here there's a couple of little holes I'll move in and you can sort of see where they're supposed to fit down into. Then if you move back about another, uh, I was going to try and do it in centimeters, but an inch and a half. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's two more holes that I believe are for the uh, companion way that goes down the side of the ship. Anyway, uh, yeah, and then there is, uh, what do we got? Uh, uh, six little guns to put on and I do believe that will complete step 13 uh, Yeah Okay, let's uh, recompose here and see if we can get those on. Oh There's one thing I wanted to mention here uh, Pardon my reach Now if you remember we were uh, dealing with the LED and we're wondering about if the glue was going to stick on this plastic. Well I've concluded that it hasn't. Uh, but I was thinking afterwards that maybe acetone would dissolve this plastic. It's sort of an acrylic. So we'll, tonight we'll maybe do a test with acetone. At least that's the plan. Okay, if you remember the one with the X is the one that I got too much paint on. I got to get this off of there very carefully without bending the railing and get the blue tack unstuck from the <laughs> underneath. I'm just going to do that quickly off camera here. Okay, I guess you can see what happened. 
Not the end of the world, but almost. <laughs> okay, this one went okay. I got the blue tack off the bottom. But when I was working with this one, I guess the tweezers slipped off and I scraped off the uh, railing here. Now, when the railing broke off, it landed on, on my green cloth and I, I couldn't find it because it landed on a, on a spot similar to this one over here, only bigger, that you can't see. And uh, it blended in. Every time I looked, <laughs> I didn't see it. So I got my spotlight and I thought it must have gone on the floor. When I'm looking around on the floor, I, I see a hose reel. And I think, well, that's odd. And then I remembered. Remember when we put this up on its end yesterday? Uh, I said something about, it sounds like stuff falling off. Well, I guess I had not glued this one in. Uh, either that or I somehow broke it loose and then it, it fell off. But I don't think so. I think it's a case of I just, I just didn't glue it in. I wonder, is this one glued in? Well, this one's kind of loose too. So, uh, I guess I only did two of these. So I'm going to have to finish that up before I do whatever it is I'm going to do with this. Uh, I'll do this off camera. I won't, uh, we already spent enough time messing around with these things. Oh, that's the way it goes. You know, really, at the end of the day, what is the difference what I do? You know, as long as I've had a good time, right? Well, uh, this is sort of having a good time. <laughs> okay, I've got those other two hose reels glued down now. But as far as this railing goes, I think it's too far gone. Now, I guess I could probably mail it to Steve in the model shed, and he'd straighten it out for me, but uh, I'm just not going to mess with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this this platform, which happened to be the good one, wouldn't you know, uh, over here on this side without a railing. And, you know, the, the turret and everything is going to be right here, sort of blocking the view. Um, and this, this good one, or rather this one that isn't broken, I'll put over here on this side. Uh, Murphy's Law. <laughs> it was the good one that slipped and got broken. Okay, um, I'm just going to go ahead and, and do that now. Maybe maybe I'll just recompose and uh, put the macro lens on. I wonder if I have enough on there. Okay, now, where's my other tweezers? You know, I, I, maybe I should have done a dry run here. fall off on me. It's not really fitting into the hole, is it? There we go. Okay, it's, I think it's locked into place right now. No, I think that Revell contacta will will dissolve through the paint and Okay, no more poking. I've removed the safety hoop so I can use the steady rest here. That way way it might be a little bit more steady. Now let's just do a kind of a dry run here. I can I can almost see the pegs on the on the on the bottom there. Um I don't want this to fall over onto the other side either, and then I have to go and stop the camera and pick it up. It's not a real good fit. It's it's almost as though you know there's that you can see that that extra little pin or whatever it is there. I, I'm almost thinking that I could do a better job if I was to nip that off. And yet those those are probably there to keep the the back of the platform from going down too far. So maybe maybe I better not. 
Okay, let's let's just uh, get our Revell on there if it hasn't hardened. I want it to be glued on here too. Now, I know this is not the best way to be picking it up. Now, if I could just get something in there, like the end of this rubber thing. I'm just trying to smoosh it around. I'm actually pressing down pretty hard now. Let's just let that dry. Okay, I think that's going to be all right. And uh, let's get our safety hoop back in here. And if you remember, the safety hoop is to keep from breaking these little, uh, whatever they are, davit type things off. And uh, yeah, too, too bad about this, but hey, you know what, the turret is going to be here. You're going to be looking at it from this side. I don't think anybody's even going to notice. Unless I tell them, and I'm not going to tell them. And don't you tell either. Uh, Alright. Let's uh, go edit out the footage. And, and see uh, how much we got. And uh, right now it is 13, 12, 12 minutes to 12. Uh... I think we're getting close to the end of this episode. Well, the editing is done. And as I suspected, I had more footage than I thought. And also, every time I, I think we're about done with this bow section, I find something else I forgot. Yeah, we got to get our screens on. And these uh, little wheels that we painted with the, with the brass, they look a lot better uh, from a distance. Like looking at them now, they look pretty good. But when I was editing out the video and we were zoomed right in, uh, they, they didn't look that good. But they, they actually do look good. Uh, mind you, now you're too far away. <laughs> Can't win, right? <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna cut today's episode off. Uh, if there's a rollback, the rollback will be putting these on. <laughs> And then later on this evening, all being well, we'll try some acetone on our LED plastic and see what happens, just for the fun of it. And you'll get to see that uh, probably in about 24 hours, maybe a little less. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. <laughs>